Now in the last video we talked about how Slow Clapping Eyes relationship resembled Alonzo and Jake's relationship in the King, King Kong ain't got, got shit on, on me! me scene in training day. The point is, we learned a lot of information and got a lot of our questions answered in that Discord presentation. And if you haven't seen that yet, y'all know to go check out my last vid, which we need to get to 1k views. Come on, son. All that aside, Soul Clap has posted a few new clips of gameplay on their Twitter account. And this last one was the first time we saw a weapon takedown. Now, because of the recent Discord presentation, we know there will be at least 150 moves or so available for us to learn. But that is actually not including the takedowns. Regardless, this move was Sex on the Beach with Kelly Rowland. But we didn't come here to talk about fantasies I may or may not have had since I was 16. <laughs> if that were the case, we'd be sitting there talking about the adventures of Afro Lee, the laid back brother with an afro and master kung fu skills who actually makes jokes about those kung fu skills. Something like, Who's there? Kung. Kung. Kung who? Kung, kung fu. fu. <laughs> huh. Maybe we did come here for that. Now a week ago, or more specifically five days ago, we got a behind the scenes look at Sifu, to which I'm like, all right, that's pretty dope. And while I know Slow Clap gotta be the first ones to do this, I can't help but to feel like I've seen this before. Huh, oh, that's right. That Jet Li and Corey Yuen movie from 17 years ago. It is uh, like what Jet, Jet Li is doing. Like yeah, like opera kung fu. No one, no, no one like fights like this in real life. life. Yeah, it's amazing. amazing yeah. But, this but it's not, not authentic. authentic. Yeah. And I was searching yeah. for something real. Oh, but you can copy his game though, right? Come on, son. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Well, for real, obviously Ben Kalusi is right. Realistically, we don't see people who are masters at kung fu flying off of walls and running up trees. With social media, I don't think we would have missed that. But just in case I have, if y'all have any clips like that out there, please send them to me. No, seriously. The point is, realism is overrated and we're talking about video games, which is in a fantasy world already, so please, let us fantasize. Now I'm just saying, but shh, nah, Bianco speaks. Now I know I've brought up the Rise to Honor a few times since discussing Sifu. That's because Sifu is Rise to Honor if Rise to Honor was 17 years in the future. In other words, Rise to Honor is current Will and Gemini Man and Sifu, Young Will. Now don't get me wrong, there are some clear differences and I expect that Sifu will be more polished, hence Young Henry Brogan. But if you look at the enemy types and the boss fights, there's a shocking resemblance. I mean even with some of the weapons used. With that being said, it's true that there are some differences between Sifu and Rise to Honor. The first one being the fighting mechanics. In Rise to Honor, you use the analog stick. In Sifu, it's gonna be X and Y. Well, that's if you play it on Steam or your computer with an Xbox controller. Square or triangle if you're playing on Sony systems. Now, there also weren't climbing mechanics or takedowns in Rise to Honor. And it's fair to say that the camera angles damn sure won't resemble each other. But Sifu seems to be what you would expect a game like Rise to Honor would look like today. Especially since they will both have cinematic aspects. Rise to Honor was a Jet Li movie in the version of a game. And Sifu is supposed to be the video game version of a Jackie Chan movie. But what I will say to y'all is that Rise to Honor was not the only game to inspire the mechanics and concept of Sifu. But I'm going to tell y'all about that in the next video. So y'all come back and stay tuned. But I will say that I love y'all. We'll add 200 subs. Get my last Sifu vid to 1,000 views because we're almost there, baby. And while y'all know I like to joke around and play around or whatever i just want to say that i do love watching people from different cultures and backgrounds appreciating other cultures and backgrounds which is why to me this behind the scenes gets a 10 out of 10 just for folks learning how to be kung fu masters and going to fushan and learning the art and then coming back and turning into a game that's probably going to be fire game of the year for 2022 for me probably and slow clap already confirmed that we're going to get some new news and info this month of november which is lit so i'm gonna see y'all again soon all right peace Yo, 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 yo,